Stony Ridge squatters have taken their fight directly to the bank. After two days camping outside of a Wood County home, activists are trying to stop a foreclosure. Today they protested in Perrysburg. Allison Brown is live with what they accomplished. Well, actually nothing. People at State Bank and Trust say they've done everything they could to collect money on the house, but Keith Sadler just has not paid up. These activists from the Toledo Foreclosure Defense League want to stop foreclosures altogether. That's why they held signs of protest outside of this Perrysburg bank. Something that's obviously not just a local or a statewide issue, it's sort of a national issue that's impacting everyone. It's impacting the poor, impacting the unemployed, the working class, the middle class. And Keith Sadler, a man who has lived on Fremont Pike in Stony Ridge for 20 years, but after a hand injury and being laid off, he says he couldn't make his payments to the bank. Now he and these activists are fighting foreclosure. He's locked himself inside of his home. In a statement, the state bank and trust company said they must make every attempt to collect on amounts due by all available means once all other options have been exhausted. Meanwhile, back at the house in Stony Ridge, power was shut off today, causing the squatters to make more signs and get amped up for a potential visit from the Wood County Sheriff. Now the Wood County Sheriff tells me he knew the power was shut off today, but he did not do it. Meanwhile, police are expected to go to the house at some point because Sadler was evicted two days ago. Reporting live, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.